What's good YouTube? You're back on S Motorsports. Today we're gonna be installing this baby into the 6.0. Like I said guys, today we're gonna to be installing the camshaft and I'll go over the specs on which one I picked out for the 6.0 for the Trans Am that we're building. Um, I got all the parts to assemble the front end of the engine, get the cover on. I don't know if it'll all be in there, but I'm hopefully gonna get the camshaft, timing chain, um, and I'll show you the, the part I got for the timing chain damper as well. Um, but I don't know about the oil pump, today. I think I might do a separate video on that, but I'll show you what I picked up. So we got some new timing gears right here as uh, I wanted to replace those, a new timing chain, which is an LS2 timing chain, which is good to, you know, obviously change the chain for sure. I probably didn't need to change these, but um, it was kind of, these are pretty cheap, honestly. Um, and then the slick part that I picked up is this trick flow part which will allow me to put on this LS2 uh, damper uh, with the timing chain. As you can see in my block, I don't have the drilling to mount that directly to the block, the damper directly to the block. So this part basically uses these three bolts and then has a spot to mount that timing chain damper. So uh, it seemed like that works pretty good. We're gonna give it a shot. And then obviously the star of the show is the BTR stage two camshaft or red hot cam is what I got. Um, the stage two camshaft uh, and the red hot in their uh, rectangle port configuration is the same camshaft. Um, they did confirm that with me. It is the same camshaft. The red hot is, they basically just give it a different name. Not quite sure why they do that. Uh, probably a marketing thing, but I did get the red hot cam. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, let me turn this around so we can see the label. As you can see, it is the Red Hot Cam. It is uh, 221, 240 something uh, duration at 50 thousandths. So I, I think this will work really good with my build. I did ask them and to recommend what camshaft they would pick for my application with my car and gears and everything and the transmission I'm planning on running. And this is what they recommended, the Red Hot. And I, I think that's pretty spot on. The 221 is pretty conservative, but then we got uh, the 240. It, I did some online calculators. It's basically the same overlap from what I can figure. Obviously you don't know the exact exhaust duration, but it's basically the same overlap roughly as with the camshaft I have in right now. But um, with this being higher lift and then in a wider lobe separation angle, this runs up to a lot higher RPM capable than you know the camshaft that I have in the old small block. Obviously LS cams way different uh, being roller as the one in the Trans Am is actually a flat tappet right now. So I'm excited, I haven't even opened this yet. So let's get it open and take a look at it. All right, I cut the seal off. So this is the first time I'm seeing this, how it's packaged. Mm, very nice. What is that? Uh, nice. Moisture resistant bagging, which is which is really nice that they do that to make sure you don't get any rust or corrosion on that. Nicely packaged. Um, so definitely, you know, no damage is going to occur in that. Uh, but man, let's see. We got cam card. Oh, it's nicely sealed. I like that. It's not even just bagged. It is. It is totally sealed, or not. So let's get this out. I'll put on some gloves. We'll clean it first before we install. We'll get it all cleaned up. Then we'll lube it up good and we'll slide it in and get the rest of the parts going on as well. I think before I do the camshaft, I'm going to install the lower timing gear. And I'll show you this part I picked up on Amazon. It's just a little uh, installer. Um, it was pretty cheap and I think it's gonna work pretty slick. It's basically just, uh, harmonic dampener installer, but it should work pretty good for this uh, gear as well. All right, we are gonna install the new GM lower timing gear. 
Again, this wasn't very expensive. That's why I, since I had to crank out, it was easy to pop off. Uh, trying to get this off with the crank already installed, I think is way harder. You probably need a special tool. But with it off, with the crankshaft out, it's really easy. So we will get this installed and it should be pretty simple. We're uh, gonna use this tool. Let's get it pressed up. And it only goes on one way with the key, so it's pretty easy. There we go. It's gonna go on that far. And then we're just gonna use the old gear to help press that on. And then this pressing tool actually has, well that washer just fits, but it should work. This pressing tool's got a little like uh, roller bearing here. So you don't have to like stack multiple washers and grease. We'll see how this works. All right guys, that tool actually worked really good. I'm happy with it. I'll leave a link in the description on Amazon if you wanna pick one up, because it was like $10 and it worked really good. So you didn't have to beat on this to get it installed. Nice. gonna go give it a quick spray off once to make sure she is nice and clean and then let's install it. In case you're curious I'm gonna measure the base circle on the camshaft as well and compare it to the old cam. 1.422. Hmm. So the new cam definitely has a smaller base circle. Um, by 0.1. So that just tells me I definitely got to check the push rod length when I get to that portion of the build. All right guys, we're gonna use this Driven Racing assembly oil that I picked up from BTR as well. Um, I think this is a really good oil. It's nice and thick and it definitely does stick to the parts. I already coated the bearings, but I'm gonna use this on the whole camshaft then. Oh yeah going in. Next, we're gonna be installing the, the thrust plate for the camshaft to hold it in place. I got this from Summit Racing. This seemed like the best price um, for what I wanted. Um, and this is gonna be a little different because I'm not gonna use all these. I'm gonna use some of the bolts out of the uh, Trick Flow kit for the damper install. But uh, let's get this pre-assembled. Not fully tightened down quite yet though. And we're only gonna use the top bolt in this kit, so. I'm just gonna put this top one in and get it started. Before I get too far tightening that down, this is the Trick Flow adapter that I got. So basically what this does is it's gonna mount just like this and hold that uh, LS2 dampener, plastic dampener, basically help chain whip uh, in position. As you can see, positions it right there. So I'm gonna get all these bolts started and get the, that assembled first before I tighten anything down. And this is the part number for the LS2 uh, timing chain damper, which I'll put the links in the description, obviously, but uh, let's get it all mocked up. Place the, place the aluminum, place the aluminum, 
Alright, target. It says 15 to 18 foot pounds. It's probably right. We'll give her a shot. I put a little dab of Loctite on these. I ended up going with 80 inch pounds, which is way less than they say. But holy crap, it just did not seem like it should be that tight. Um, clamping the plastic like that, I, I think that is more than enough. All right, now we're gonna get this positioned on here. And again, I'm going to add just a, just a tiny dab of Loctite on these bolts. I'm gonna use this top bolt to kind of align everything since that is tapered, that'll kind of set, it'll hopefully kind of center it up a little bit. So I'm gonna torque all three of these bolts to 15 foot pounds, and I'm gonna do this one first. Those all torqued up beautifully. Next, we can go installing the timing chain and the top camshaft gear. And we also need to make sure we line up the dots. So this camshaft, it says on the card, it needs to be lined up dot to dot with the piston at top dead center. So the number one piston is at top dead center. So the piston is at top dead center and then the bottom dot is facing up and then the top gear is gonna be facing down dot to dot. That's what that means. All right guys, the next step is to install the top timing gear. Again, this is a, a GM part number. This is actually an LS2 timing gear. Uh, looking it up, it was kind of weird. Uh, the diameter of this one, it said it was like 20 thousandths bigger. Um, not that that probably makes a difference, but I, I kind of was like, well, I'm gonna use the LS2 timing gear because they were different part numbers. Um, and if it's a little slightly bigger, it's gonna keep that chain just a smidge tighter. Um, so that's what I was going for. Again, this is an LS2 timing chain. Um, that's the same chain that's recommended if you look up like an 03 uh, Silverado with a 60. That's basically what I'm using as is what this came out of. So that's what I'm using as my guide for, you know, original parts. So this is LS2 timing chain. We got a gear. We also, I did pick up some uh, ARP uh, timing gear bolts as it's only three, they're pretty cheap. So it was kind of like extra insurance to make sure that stays put and it does not slip. So um, yeah, let's unbox it and get it in. We're gonna lube them up as well good. So uh, everything is good to go when we start it up. All right, let's get this unboxed. Take a look at it. Unboxed, unwrapped. Yeah, that looks good. Where is the dot? Oh, right there. There we go, there we go. We got dots right here, dot right there. Lining up, piston at number one, top dead center. We should be good to go to put the ARP bolts in. So this puppy says 25 foot pounds for these bolts. So we'll try it. So I'm gonna sneak up on it with my smaller torque wrench first at 20 foot pounds and then we'll step up to 25. 25 it is. Nice. guys that's it for today we got the camshaft installed i am pretty stoked for this as i th i think that is going to be an awesome camshaft for this engine and for this vehicle um i can say the install went really nice i i'm happy with the chain tension it doesn't really seem uh too sloppy call it um so i think that is perfect and i think this chain dampener is really going to help out as you can see, you know, it, it hits that. We got a little clearance, but then, you know, I think that's gonna be perfect so we don't get any chain whipping at high RPM. Cause really where this comes in is decel at high RPM, your chain can really whip 
and that's what that's for. It's just kind of a why not add that uh, for extra high RPM capability, which that's what I'm building this engine for. So I think it's gonna be awesome. So guys, until next time, thanks for joining in. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything in the next build as I got, I will install the oil pump. I do wanna do some porting on it to make sure that that is good to go. I will show you how to install the oil pump and then get the front cover on hopefully in the next one. And then maybe even the oil pan as well. I'll show you what I picked up for that. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.